In mid-November, three of us followed the well-marked, easy-to-walk trail of the newly opened McLeod Bridge Tract of Ohubi Dunes. Red blazes were marked frequently on trees, and metal arrows pointed us in the direction to follow. Unfortunately, the metallic numbers do not yet include a nearby description. Hours after our walk was over, we spotted a map at the Swainsboro Visitor Center. That told us what the numbers meant. This is what Hugh and Carol Norse wrote about the area. The unique parabolic shapes of the Ohupi Dunes were first revealed on Landsat satellite images made in 1974. These curious dunes, made of coarse, wind-blown, riverine, alluvial sand, are believed to have been formed during the late Pleistocene age 20,000 years ago. All five conservation lands encompass nearly 3,000 acres. Aside from the tall longleaf pines with huge pine cones, the area is covered by dwarfed turkey oaks. Because the terrain is unusual, especially this far inland, there are many rare plants and a few rare animals as well. Although, although we were there outside of wildflower season, we thought the trail was beautiful. I'm trying to make this look taller than it probably looks. It's what we're calling a dunette. We stayed overnight at this beautiful inn in Swainsboro. Aaron and his staff took good care of us. After investigating the house, we walked to downtown Swainsboro, where we found the descriptive map of the McLeod Tract. Aaron served us a delicious and healthy dinner and breakfast. In between, we slept on very tall beds.